Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to create an infinite scroll effect for free using Elemental. Some also call this the marquee effect. So you can use this for different use cases. You can use it to showcase text, you can use it to showcase images like logos and all that. Let's get into how we can create this. So as you can see, we already have a working prototype here. So I'm just going to delete this out so that it doesn't interfere with what I'm trying to show you. So let's delete all content, then we can start um, creating a new one um, afresh. I'm going to create our um, first section here. So what you want to do is you click on content width and make it full width, and then you set the padding to zero. And the next step is to add a container. Sorry, the next step is to add a container. So you add your container into it, depending on what you are trying to achieve, you can leave the container, um, the contents with as boxed, or, but for this, we're going to set the uh, contents with as full width here. Yeah. So inside this container, I'm just going to quickly name this um, marquee for convenience so that I can remember what I'm doing. So inside this container is where we're going to start designing our, um, components so i'm just going to name this um creative stacks so once i name it creative stacks i'm going to change the header to um htm to span actually actually so that it doesn't interfere with i'm a big fan of seo so it doesn't mess up my page seo and all that so i'm just going to customize this real quick let's choose sign for this change this to 42 yeah so it's nice the next thing we want to do is we want to add our icon depending on what you've um created what your assets is this can either be icon or image or anything else that you're working with so i'm just going to change this real quick to stack yeah so i'm just going to change the primary color here to this okay cool so the next step you want to do now is you want to duplicate these assets um, two more times. Why you're doing this is, actually, I'm going to explain that when we get there. So let's just duplicate this. Uh, let's duplicate this. So I'm just going to bring this down here. I'm going to bring this here. Let's duplicate one more time. So I'm going to move this down. I'm going to move this here as well. So as you can see, this doesn't really make much, much sense for um, what we want to do at the moment. So um, the next thing we want to do is you come back to the uh, container here, then you set your um, direction to horizontal. So the align, um, align items, you're going to set it to center as well. So you're going to set this to center. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add our CSS class to the um, container and the section. So I already created an article that you can also go through. I'm going to leave the link in the, in the description so you can get the code and the CSS class and also help you if you want to troubleshoot as well. So I'm going to just name the, um, the um, container. I'm going to give the CSS class infinite marquee. So I'm going to change this to infinite marquee. I'm going to come to the primary um, section here and name it um, marquee section. So what I want to do now is we're going to impute our um, CSS uh, code. If you're using the free version, you should already know by now that you don't have access to um, the custom CSS feature. So let's just use the HTML feature. So the good thing about the HTML feature is you can just drag it anywhere on the page. So I'm just going to quickly, let's make this neat. So I'm just going to put this here. So, and then we'll put our code in. So you can see the um, infinite scrolling effect is already taking place. So I'm just going to quickly name this HTML as well. So, but as you can see, you can't see um, 
the you can't see what is being scrolled after some point it just disappears and then starts again this is actually because you don't have enough um, assets in the um, container for the infinite scrolling effect to work with and we're going to um, change that very soon but first i'm going to change the um, alignment here so you're going to come back to your container here your primary container then justify content you set it to center so quickly i'm just going to change this background color to let's do blue okay so i'm just going to change it to this so i think this makes it makes much more design sense this way so the next thing we want to do now is for this infinite for this infinite infinite scroll to continue infinitely for the text scroll to continue infinitely you're going to duplicate this marquee two times so duplicate once then duplicate twice you understand so so you might be wondering why this um infinite scroll here isn't still showing completely the reason is simple because we have added three different um containers here um and the if we change the height here you understand you can see that it's just um the the, um, the item direction is um it's facing down so i'm just going to delete this then would we'll come to our parent container here then you change the direction to horizontal then you have your infinite scroll so let's just create one more um scrolling effect here this time we're going to change the direction to from left to right instead of from um going from right to left so let's duplicate this so if we duplicate when we duplicate this let's just quickly change the background color here to red so we can understand the effect so what we want to do now is um you're going to duplicate the html file as well so when you do that would we'll come to our um the new section here we're just going to add um what's it is it we're just going to add two to the um section and each of the containers here to um separate the css to separate the css from the previous one so i'm just going to add quickly add to to everything so as you can see the design is already scattering so what we then do next is you come to the html file here then we'll quickly add to back to all the um, css classes here again so you can see the direct the scroll direction is still the same so to change it the way the way to change it is actually quite simple so what you want to look out for is the animation here the css class that undoes the animation and this is it here so what we want to do now is you just want to add reverse to the back of the infinite as you can see the direction changes to the um from left to right so also if you want to um, let's say you don't want to use this reverse method here what you can also do is the keys, um, key frame scroll here um, if you come to our article here you can pick this up then let's paste it in here you can see they both change the direction that they were um, both going before so let's just delete this well it seems i deleted the animation as well okay so this is it now you've created a working scrolling animation in elementor for free so um let me just explain in case you want to customize this scrolling effect further i just want to explain some things in case you um come across something like that um so this will also help you troubleshoot one thing you should know is this gap here this particular gap in the this css gap 
the gap CSS here. Once you change one of it, if you change this to three, for example, if you change this to three, if you check the CSS, if you check the scoring animation here, it's going to jump. If you can notice that small jump that happened here right now, just keep checking. You notice it jumps a bit when it gets to the end. You've seen that jump. So that is because I, you've seen the jump again. So that is because I changed this gap here. If you change one gap, you have to change the gap in everything else. Change this to three, find where the where gap is in your code again, then change that also. Also, um, this CSS is hard coded with the um, font style, which is sign sans serif. What if you don't want this, I want to use what you created with um, your Elementor, you can just delete this, you understand? Delete the font family here and delete the font weight and um, font size and font color and all that. So basically what you want to do is you just delete all this, you understand? So you delete all this and um, you're left with just the transition. Um, so also one thing you would notice is that the design is not all that responsive on mobile devices, as you can see the way it is showing here. So what you want to do is you want to click on this section here, then you go to the direction. So for some reason, if you change the direction to vertical, it's correct itself and then it starts scrolling the way it's supposed to scroll. So you can see so it is how to make it responsive on mobile devices as well so another aspect of the design that might interest you is the skill effect so let me show you how to add the skill effect into the design it's already there you just need to um comment it in so if you come to transform here if you delete this comment here, you can see that the design has been skewed upwards. So also, you can also rotate the design as well. So if we comment this out as well. So let's comment this back in. You can see, so you can always change the, um, the values here to be whatever, um, value that suits the design that you're trying to create so you can also add the skew effects this way as well so yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want more of this please remember to like subscribe and leave a comment thank you